Welcome to my channel. My name is Gail and this is Real Life and Keto. And uh, today is Friday the 9th. I've already done this video once and then did, like, didn't like how it turned out so I deleted it. I am on my way to the store real quick to pick up a few things. My husband is at home working on his model train stuff at the table. Enjoying a big old banana shake that I made him and vanilla wafers. And so just kind of wanted to let you guys know what's going on. Um, he finished his first full treatment of chemo. He's on his, uh, he's about halfway through his week off from taking the chemo meds. He goes for two weeks, he takes them twice a day for two weeks, and then he has a week where he doesn't take anything, and then he starts it all over again. So on Valentine's Day, he gets his infusion, which lasts about five hours, and he starts the next dose of chemo. Now, we had an unexpected visit. We went to the neurologist yesterday. It was not a planned office visit. He had had some urinary issues over the weekend, and we called we contacted the, the nurse practitioner who's handling his chemo treatments, thinking maybe we just needed to up one of his meds, and she said that it sounded like it was neurological, not, not chemo-related. So then the neurologist, the neurosurgeon who did his back surgery, wanted to see him and wanted to have x-rays. So we ended up going up and having x-rays done and seeing the neurosurgeon, he thinks, he couldn't have a, an official reading on them, but he could look at them. And he said that they looked good, but he was ordering a couple of MRIs in order to um, take a better look to see if the cancer had started growing again in the back, because he removed what he could. And, um, and he is recommending that we start radiation treatment along with the chemotherapy and the infusion therapy. And so, first to get the, the MRIs done, we've, we've ran into some problems with insurance not wanting to uh, pay for both of them. And just this morning was just a bunch of kerfuffles trying to, when I got, I had to go out in about earlier, when I got back, my husband said that they finally got them approved. I don't think he told me when we had to have them done. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we went that far. I don't know if we got them scheduled or if they just got them approved and um, so we need to get those done because he wants to see him again on the 15th the day after he starts chemotherapy and go over the results so that was that um, he has he has been more fatigued and more tired and more sore lately about him. I mean, I'm the full-time 24-7 caregiver, so I do worry about him all the time, and I always, it's like I want to make sure he's landed someplace, you know, like sitting somewhere or whatever before I take off to go run an errand. And, uh, so, anyway, it's it's been interesting. We're still waiting on the VA to come through with, um, finances, um, with, like, disability. And, uh, I did end up applying for um, assistance for food stamps, but I haven't heard anything. I've put in a couple of phone calls and haven't gotten anything, any calls back. Supposedly we qualify because all we have is my husband's little bit of disability. And um, so, yeah, it's, things have been tight lately. And then with having everybody call today about you know, um, insurance not covering this or not approving that or whatever. It's, it's just a big pain in the rump. Uh, as far as keto goes, I had posted on my Facebook page and on my Instagram that I was like recommitting myself to uh, get back on track. I don't know if I started Monday or Tuesday. And that every day just blurs into another, you know. I can't, it's hard for me to believe it's Friday already. But, um, anyway, I started, I reset my fitness pal. I started tracking again on my fitness pal. And, um, I started at 208. The weight had just, after, after my husband got the diagnosis in November, my weight just went up and just kept 
creeping up through the holidays and just with stress and whatever with him in the hospital for three weeks you know it was just it was just crazy you, you kind of autopilot eat or eat whatever's available or you know it's just you, you, the last thing on your mind is figuring out the right thing to eat sometimes and sometimes all you want is the wrong thing when you're stressed but anyway so I had decided I'm I'm sick of this weight going in the wrong direction and I'm, and how it makes me feel like my body aching and just tired and crabby and feeling fat again. I, you know, when I got down to the high 170s, low 180s, I didn't feel fat. I felt like I was normal, like I wouldn't stand out in a crowd as being like the heaviest person there or the biggest person there. and. And that was a nice feeling, even, you know, even though I hadn't reached my goal yet, I still felt good about that. And then to have, I've gained, since my mom passed away at the end of March last year, I've gained, like, just over 28 pounds. So I um, started again. My weight was 208. I've been tracking for the last three days, whatever it was. Whenever I started, I think it was Tuesday. It seems like Tuesdays are my great days to start anything. And um, it was 204, the last two days, 204.8. And I've been really, really pretty good trying to get back in the habit of making sure that I put stuff in my fitness pal before I eat it and trying to focus on drinking more water and trying to make sure I get to bed at a reasonable time. And it, it, we're up and down all night. My husband, you know, if he needs help with something in the middle of the night, it, it's not a solid but I never slept solid anyway, so it's whatever, you know. It's not like, it's not like you know, that's a really a new thing because I never really slept solid ever anyway. So, basically that's where I'm at. Um, he starts chemo next Wednesday. I did go to a family, um, we had our family Christmas with my grandparents this last weekend and we had put it off, normally it's the first weekend of December, but because my grandmother was going through chemo, or chemotherapy, radiation therapy with her cancer, she they postponed it. They were going to do it at the end of January, and she still wasn't feeling great the closer it got, so they postponed it to the first weekend of February, and um, I wasn't going to hug anybody. Javi wasn't up to going. My husband wasn't up to going, so, but, you know, he wanted me to go and go for at least a little bit, get, you know, have dinner and whatnot, so I went. I wasn't going to hug anybody just because I can't afford to take the flu home to him. Well, of course, I get there and my grandfather grabs a hold of me, gives me a big old hug. And then when I'm leaving, my grandmother gives me a big old hug. And then I find out like two days later, they both came down with the flu. I'm like, son of a gun. But I'm just refusing it. I'm rebuking it. I'm not having it. I'm not going to get the flu. I did call the, I did talk to the gals at the clinic where I used to work or where I'm on FMLA from and I said what is the incubation period for the flu if you've been exposed and they said 10 days but that puts us my 10 days lands us right about the time he's supposed to start his next round of chemotherapy so I'm just like nope not getting sick not doing it not having it it's not gonna nope so I'm too ornery to get sick so I'm not gonna do it I do have a kind of a sinusy thing but that's been like going on forever so I just I think that's part of the cold going in and out and whatever so I'm not gonna worry about that but um, I don't think it's catchy let's put it that way so anyway I did want to catch you guys up on that and try to keep this relatively short um, fingers crossed uh, he's gonna get some more lab work done some of the lab work came back I don't really know the official numbers or what exactly they tested for but the nurse told him on the phone that it does look like the chemotherapy is working so that's great so at least the numbers have went down a little bit or up or whatever they were supposed to do so that's a good thing um, I, I am a little concerned if he does start radiation if that's going to kick his butt I'm not I'm not really sure I guess we just gonna have to play it by ear and see what happens but I do appreciate everybody's kind words and your thoughts and prayers and positive vibes and whatever it is that you believe and want to share with me. That is awesome. I really appreciate it. And I know Javi really appreci appreciates it. And um, 
hopefully things will calm down enough that I can maybe try to do like at least once a week videos, just short up to date updates, you know, on what's going on type of thing. So thanks for watching and I'll touch back with you guys again soon.